Yes, yes, yes. Welcome one and all. Episode 232 of the Fully Geek Pod. You got myself, Nate, the man in the know. Hey, Charlie. You got a one kiss twist. <laughs> the Richard experience. One and only Merv. Yes, people. What is going on? What is going on? Uh, apologies. Uh, Miles sent his apologies, but he'll be back next week. What is going on, everyone? Everyone good? Yeah, man. He said he, he, look, said he my, should be back. He should be look, back next week. My my, my concern, my concern is first. Oh, of here all, we go. Here why we go. is L even on the pod? Why 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 can't you just welcome me? That oh hi, no, 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 no. I've, missed you. Not... I've missed you, bro. Why can't no, you no, just no, do it's, that? It's why? that? Look, look, first of all, you're 56 shades darker than me. Let me just put that one out there, yeah? yeah. yeah. No, now we're twins. Now we're twins. Don't, don't we're colors, identical man. twins now. Don't no, do no, colorism, no. guys. Don't We've do been doing colorism for a long time, and Merv's lucky he's got out of it now. I don't know how he's getting lighter every day, but <laughs> MJ, MJ's Shit, in bleach, him, bleach, M- bleach, bleach soap. <laughs> well, somehow he's getting lighter, that's for sure. Really? Come on, man. But, just the same, isn't it? But listen, my concern is right, Kel, you are on annual leave, yeah? Annual leave means you get away from. Everything, everything, including you know, it, it, one. Let it, me finish. Let me finish, Uncle. Uncle Kel, let me finish. You get away. Minute thirty-five into the pod, you know. Sorry. I said we're a minute and thirty-five seconds into the pod, and there's so much war. But anyway, continue. Look, and the thing is, right? You're on annual leave, right? You're on annual leave. You're away from work, away from the UK. Somehow, you make yourself onto the pod. If you wanted to do a WhatsApp call with us, man, on a call, it's cool. It's no problem. <laughs> would you pick up? Would you, would you pick up, Rich? Would you pick no. up? You would not pick up. No, 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 no. If we, if it was arranged, yeah, I would, I would answer. You don't, you can't just call me Facetime like Nate randomly calls you Facetime and man's gonna answer. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I call everyone <laughs> Facetime. I don't care. Yeah. You Facetime. You don't Facetime me because you know I don't, I don't get involved. But you've done it a couple of times <laughs> and you told me in the past you Facetime everyone. He answered. Yeah, I know, but I was in the moment. I was relaxing. But like I said, if Kel wanted to do a Facetime. You could you could have did the WhatsApp, but no, I'm Kel. I want to show everyone my tan. I want to show everyone, you know, I'm I'm in a no. Don't forget about me. Oh, and guess what, everyone? Kel hasn't even watched one show. What's the purpose of the podcast? To watch TV shows. Uh, oh, I, I, one, minute, one minute, one minute. Okay, Kel, no, I expect input within this podcast. I don't know how you're gonna do it, son. But I expect some form of input within this podcast. I'm sorry, guys. The listeners, the YouTube viewers, I'm sorry for going on. And it's one minute, two minutes, whatever it is. But I just have to get it off my chest. Thank you. Hi, guys. I've, I've missed you all. I appreciate the love. Um, and yeah, let's, let's, let's move on with the show, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll see the mosquito on the battlegrounds. So I'm going to hear all that. Yeah. How many times have we been on holiday? I'm all, when I'm on holiday, like I feel like I'm missing out on the pod. I want to be a part of it. Go and listen to it. I do. Well, to be fair, normally when I'm when I'm on holiday, I just cancel the pod. But I hear what you're saying. But anyway, Kel, where are we coming from right now internationally? Come on, I cry, I cry, I cry. When I cry, come bro. on. In English. Ghana, you get me? Okay, he's in Ghana. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Podcast International, you get me? Come on. Yeah? yeah what's it say? England? No, it's, it's lively. It's lively. You know what it is? This is a proper holiday because basically, like, I'm, I'm, I'm at my brother's and his family, but, like, my, my family are with the in-laws, isn't it? So it's like, I'm going to get a lot of me time, can I say? Do you know what I mean? So it's nice, man. It's nice. Um, whether it's hot, but it rained this morning, but it's been cloudy, mad cloudy, so like it's not been too hot today. But on a, on a regs, it's like 34, 35, 32 standard. What get me? Is it humid today? Was kind of humid, yeah, yeah. Today was kind of Merv humid. would be crying right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. Merv, Merv you said those crazy. numbers, I saw Merv shrinking that jumper, bro. He said, What? <laughs> oh. If, if I was if I was broadcasting from there, I'll be I'll be I'll just be a puddle in it talking. 
<laughs> just bubbles and we go. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, the, the, the fan, the, the, it gets kind of cooler, and the fans on and things. So nah, it's all good, man. What? So what, good. Kel? So since you've been in Ghana, what? Almost two weeks now, right? Yeah, yeah. So prior to that, when was the last time we went to Ghana, and what's the difference in a sense? As has much things changed? Or yeah, yeah, is... yeah. Bro, um, last time it's gone seven years ago. Um. A lot has changed, man. So many like apartments, so yeah. many buildings, so many restaurants, so many bars. Like bare foreigners, I, just, I see bare far east, far eastern people just roaming the streets like it's normal. You get me? But you know they're gonna take it over anyway. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like it's just yeah, man. It's just, it's developed. The roads still got mad potholes, though. But it's like it's like going on a roller coaster ride. You're like this, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is what well, I'm it's to like say. a roller coaster ride, man. So the potholes are still there, but they're, they're building like they're, they're building a new motorway and stuff like that. So, and apparently, some trains are coming from Poland. <laughs> so, yeah, strange, yeah, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, some trains from, oh, from wow. Poland, imports the trains from Poland. Uh, do, do you know what? You know what? First of all, <laughs> I thought, I thought that making a train that goes from Poland to Ghana. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I thought too. That's what I thought was. I did not. <laughs> I, was, I was just like, Poland, for what? You want Poland nah, to Ghana? I'm like, cool, isn't it? Whatever's nah. going on down there, you get me? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're old trains or they're new trains that Poland and made for I have no idea what, what the connection is. But now, yeah, but man. I, I remember because my dad was telling me that when there used to be trains in Ghana, and it was just, you know, I think you've you've seen those videos where a train, is, it. yeah, full full to the brim, and that's how it yeah, used to no. be. And and it was just like, nah, nah, there was too many incidents and accidents and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah man, Ghana's improving. Like that, that's that's good to see because obviously yeah. the improvement it's is still key. It's, it's still mad laid back. Like I see where I get my laid back from, bro. But you go to a restaurant, yeah, don't expect your meal. No, bro, bro, bro. Yeah, the first hour is a myth. <laughs> just get in your brain, your bill will come hour and a half, two hours. Just put it in your yeah. head from now. No, don't go there hungry. And and there'll be some mistakes. Like they'll yeah. bring the meal. Like, wow, where's this? Where's that? Where's it? Oh, but, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. Bro. But but the question is, is that a good thing? Because uh, is the food being cooked from fresh? Yeah. Nah, man. It's just pure laziness, bro. It's pure. It's too nah. laid back, bro. They walk, they, bro. They walk backwards, bro. <laughs> no, but Kill, I don't. I don't. Know, the thing is, I, I don't know if that's exclusive to Ghana. I don't know if it's exclusive. I don't think that's exclusive to Ghana. No, that's what I mean. Bro, yeah. black people in general, we're just, not for poor. Yeah, but I think no, but I think that is just our people. Because it was the yeah, same yeah, in yeah. Dominica. Like you go to Dominica, yeah. you can't be there hungry. You, you're gonna be. You're gonna wait. Yeah, because especially because they're not into tourism, you're gonna sit there and wait. Yeah, standard, standard. But my I cousin's drove, over I, there I drove now. As well. huh? huh? My cousin's over there now, and she's telling me the nightlife is is, <laughs> is pumping off. You know what? You know, what, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm, I don't know who I was telling you, either one of you lot, but yeah, I've got me. no friends here, bro. I've got no people here, so like, no one's like my, my cousins and stuff. They're not. They're not really about that life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they they can't really show me any 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 place to go and chill and club wise, and like obviously that street and them they, they do the whole Ramadan thing, so they're not on it. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like I'm just mm. I'm just an old I'll man, send, bro. I'll send you my cousin's number. She's in Accra anyway, but she's she's talking. When I messaged her yesterday, she's like, Nate, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. <laughs> like yeah. she just said, Ra, I'm not coming back. So like saying, who offered me the car. Back. Yeah, all offering me the X5, like, I'm not coming back. Serious? Yeah. I'll take I might it. take it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what? The thing is, I know a few men from UK, Owich and Kamasi, which is a bit far anyway. Yeah, um, it's a bit far from me, yeah. Yeah, so I, I know a few people in a crowd now, so I'll, I'll buck you up with them and get me. So, if need be, do you know what I mean? What? So, um, I heard Tuesday, you say... I'm leaving, I'm, I'm leaving next Tuesday, that's the thing. Oh, is it? No, next Wednesday, seventeenth. I'm leaving. Yeah, I heard you say you drove. Yeah, only only a little bit though. Only a little bit. Like, <laughs> like, bro, I would not drive to Ghana. I would because, bro, they're mad here, bro. You know what it is? They got no awareness. Like, 
the, the pedestrians, the cyclists, the motorcyclists, the drivers, they got no awareness. They don't care. They're just walking the road. Bro, they don't care. The goats, the dogs, no one cares. The goats. It's, oh, a mad, it's it. mad. It's mad. So, like, I, I drove, like, for, like, like five, ten minutes, just from one place, like, the same area. That was it. That was enough for me. That was enough for me, man. I was like, nah. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, Giza, have you got a pet goat? No. No, 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 not 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 in this yard, not in this yard, no. Okay. Uh, if I was in the village, Nate, then yeah, well. The thing is, Nate, Nate's like, what, pet goat? Nate, the first time I went to Ghana, right, with my mum, I've told this story a million times, but I'm not going to tell the full story. I was given a pet goat, bruv. Yeah, and... but did you have to kill it as well, though? Oh, Giza, see, I'm saying you're bringing memories back into my head, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. That can't be a pet. Listen. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Okay, let me just tell you this quick story, right? This is why I I, I I, I, was not banned from Ghana, but relatives didn't like me, right? <laughs> relatives didn't like me, and I said, I'm never going back to Ghana. And that lasted for like good 12, 15 years. It was torture, bro. So basically, you know, I'm a young one. Fresh, in, fresh from the UK, coming to Ghana. That didn't know really what to expect. Obviously, you expect everything was totally different. The hole in the floor, um, and all that kind of stuff. So that, that was a that was a big culture shock first. First of all, and yeah. the fact there were so many black people in general was just like it felt. Yeah, no, I, I remember at first I come to Ghana. I remember that they seen black adverts. I was like, rah. So I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah, go on. exactly. And I went to see my uncle. Um, uh, Uncle Anderson, bad man, RIP. Yeah. And he oh, goes to me, I've, Yeah, I've got a present for you. And I go to him, oh, What is it? He goes to me, Here's a goat. The goat is like about, it looks about a year old. This, me and this, if I had a, ah, uh, I'm somewhere there must be a picture of me and this goat. So I, every morning, walk the goat, walk to the shop with the goat, come back, come back. Well, home. I had a collar, I had a collar, everything, a rope, I had a rope in it. Yeah, the rope, the rope, the rope, yeah. So everything. So like, it's the final week. Of going going back to the UK, I was there for six weeks. My uncle said that now we're gonna we're gonna have goat. I said, okay, cool. <laughs> Listen, I was wearing my yellow t-shirt. I remember my yellow t-shirt. Um, he said, Yeah, we're going to eat this goat. I said, What do you mean? You gave it to me. He said, No, 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 I gave you it as a gift, but we're going to eat it. Giza, I turned around and looked forward again. The geezer slit his throat. That's all all I'm hearing. And my yellow t-shirt was full of blood. But I I, I swore my uncle, you know. I I swore him because I was I was so upset. And my mom said, Go inside, go inside. I was like, you killed my goat. Now you can't give a young kid who's about 12 years old a goat. You can't give me a goat and expect me to not be attached to it. I'm not used to this activity. I mean, I'm used to going to Tesco's and Sainsbury's to go and get my goat meat. You get what I mean? Yeah, anyway, that's my story about Ghana. Anyway, no, no, I remember like similar story where I, I didn't. It was my pet, but because my my duty in the morning was to feed the chickens, feed the goats. Yeah, that that's my thing in the, in the, what I should do in the morning, isn't it? And um, I think one weekend, my uncle was like, "All right, it's time." I was like, "Time for what?" It's time for because I've because I've killed a chicken in the past. Like he maybe killed chicken in it. That was a lot as well. Like you have to, you have to drink water. They just slit the throat. But goat is a different. Goats are big. Like they're strong. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a, that's a whole different killing. Do you know what I mean? It's a whole different killing, bro. So yeah, but my uncle, my uncle, uh, and my cousin just pinned their legs down, and I, I, had, to, I, had, to, I had to close my eyes because you can't, you can't say no. You can't say no. You have to do it. Mad, mad peer pressure, in it? So I just yeah. closed my eyes. The car, I was for the goal was just jerking, jerking, jerking. I was like, oh man, it, I, I never it, forget it, it, it. It's the noise it makes. Like, yeah. it, it, it goes, man. It, and it's, it's, it's too, it's too deep, bro. I'm telling you. No, it's, it's too, too deep. deep. Wait, we, we should have put, we should have put the same up before we sell all this, you know. <laughs> There's some <laughs> proper animal lovers out there, mate. There must be I know, I know, I know. The, veg- the vegans, the vegans are not loving this at all. Vegans, not animal loving. lovers, you name it, man. Yeah. Do you still eat meat? To, do you still eat goat to this day, Richard? Goat. Yes. Uh, now, 
Yeah, I haven't had goat for for years. Like I, I when I if I go to like Caribbean shop or African restaurant, I will never I will never order curry goat or anything like that. Okay, I I'm, I stay far. I, I just I just stick to chicken because I know chicken. Fair enough. I hear you. I don't eat but, meat, but I I've, I've been there. We've done the, the whole killing of the animals. But it is what it is. And like you said, Merv, they're animal lovers. So, um, I don't know, slap a trigger warning in there or something. All right. No. Cool, we're not going to do that. All right, guys. Um, a lot of been going on in the entertainment world, okay? One of the things that's been going on in the entertainment world was, obviously, we had Russell Simmons, who used to be in Run DMC, and didn't he no, call no, no, better? No, 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 no. No. He was Russell doing Simmons. Run DMC. No, 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 he no. was Def Jam. Brother, his brother, brother was, was yeah. his brother. Yeah, he, he was, yeah, he was the owner of Def Jam. Def Jam, so yeah, Def yeah. Jam. Sorry, my bad. I don't want to. Um, Russell Simmons, and he was the one that was dating Kimora, or yeah. married to Kimora Lee. Yeah. So yeah. they have a daughter. Um, the daughter is twenty-one years old. I don't want to say her name wrong. Is it Aki? A- Aoki? Aoki would be the word. That is how you say it. Aoki, she's 21, and she was spotted kissing a 65-year-old entrepreneur or restaurateur, sorry, should I say. Um, I can't remember his name is. Vittorio Asa, I believe his name is. Something like that, yeah. Um, I, I, I think each their own. Like, I think, like, you can do what you want. But at 21 years old, is it fair? Like, what do you have in simp? What do you have? Going in with common. a in common with a sixty-five year old man. Absolutely, nothing. absolutely nothing. Uh, unless she's looking for a father figure, because or sugar daddy. Yeah, no, nah, nah, she she's loaded. She's loaded. Just well, you say that, but do you, you see the, the video footage of her in the car with him? No, not that one. No, has, has, seen has that. anyone seen that? No, go ahead. Okay, no. so there's a video. There's a, so there's a video footage of her. I think they're on, they're on holiday in, in the Sembot. Sembot is an island in the Caribbean. Yeah. I think it's an American owned. Yeah. So they're, they're in a car. I think they're getting driven around. And like she was pointing at like all these designer restaurants. Like, um, oh, no restaurants, sorry. Designer shops. Like, oh, yeah. I can really do a, like a, uh, I don't know, a like Gucci bag. Oh, and you know what else I like? Cartier. Do you know what I mean? Like she's pointing at, it's just, so, so, so that he buys her these things, you get me? Now, I don't know if she was playing up to the camera or if she was doing it as a joke thing, but it's, it came across as... And any time he spoke, like, she kind of, like, sh- pushed him up. Kind of like, oh, sh- shush, man, shush, like, keep quiet. Nobody wants to hear your voice. I want that bag. I want that Cartier. Or, do you know what I mean? It was weird. It was a weird sort of thing. I don't know. So for me, it looked like a Can sugar daddy. Do you know what I mean? Well, do you know what it is, right? It's kind of two things. It's just like you want a gift, isn't it? And if you know he's loaded, it's an opportunity to take a gift. I I don't think that's true because... like, A gift is from the person giving it to you, not you demanding it. That's not a gift. USA is different, man. (laughs) I'm telling you that now. USA is different and they live in a different fairy tale land. Because... Like, because you got to remember, the whole thing with Russell Simmons, right? I know she she has no longer contact with her, her father because apparently yeah. he was too controlling and everything okay. else. You saw, and, yeah, you I, saw that when that all came out, yeah. Yeah. So, to me, it's it, this is like not, maybe a cry for help, looking for a, a form of a father figure. Like, this is what I'm I'm trying to kind of... This is why, like Nate Work, you said, like a 20 year old, 21-year-old... And the sixty-five-year-old, you tr- you're trying to trying to gain understanding how it and why it makes sense. Do you get what I mean? Because that's not even, for me. That's not even a father figure. That's a grandfather figure. Yeah. Do you know that. what I mean? That's not, that's forty-four yeah. years. That's a grandfather, bro. Yeah. Is it big? Honestly, it, it's it's a it's super extreme. And but my concern is not. It is her, of course, but. This 65 year old man and he's going to have a 21 year old. Obviously, I, I don't know if maybe from a man perspective, right? Going someone who's so young, it's great for him. But for me, I just look at that as in saying that's inappropriate. Do you get what I mean? 
is totally well, technically, technically there's nothing wrong with it. No, no, there's that's nothing wrong with it. No, fundamentally, no, I, I saw there is though. No, there's there's nothing wrong with it in a law aspect of things. Yeah, yeah. Right, mm. but you just got to think of the age difference. Like, if she, do you get what I mean? So, it, in because it's fundamentally not wrong in law terms, it doesn't mean it's not wrong. No, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, that, that's to be fair, and this is what I'm saying. So, because obviously, I wouldn't wish this for my own. Like, if this is my own. Like I, I've got serious, like I've got serious work I need to do with it. If my owner was coming home and saying, "Pops, this is my man, and my man, the man's older than me," I, I've done something wrong. Yeah, and I went, for example, Saturday I went out. I just went Romans or whatever, and it was similar. It wasn't it wasn't twenty one to sixty five, but it was like a young. Um, I don't the, the ethnicity doesn't work doesn't matter, but it was a young lady. I reckon probably early twenties. And her man was probably in his 50s, 60s. And you know, like I'm looking, I'm going, I don't know, bro. You just, it, it looks wrong. Like, I don't know, like, if this is like your man, man. You know, like, there's other people, bro. Like, I also don't think it's fair on the older man. Do you get me? Like, the older man should be able to be with someone. He doesn't have to be splashing the cash and spending the money to try and impress, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, think about it, Richard. I, I, know you, I know you're saying she's loading and whatever, but if he was a Brock old man, do you think he would be able to get her? No. no because he's a yeah. rich old man. He, he, that's what I'm saying. So the sugar daddiness, I, I think it's part of it. No, Seriously. And we don't know. It, though, though her family's loaded, she's not yeah. loaded. So we don't know her relationship with, with her mum as well, if they've stopped giving her money or what. We don't know. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So... Very, very true. Very, very true. But I, I'm, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she could have got someone her close enough to her own age, of course, who, who, of who course. is still successful, and yeah, someone probably course. in the music scene because her dad used to own Def Jam. Her family's from Run DMC. You know, her family uncles from Run DMC. It's like, come on, man. Yeah. Do, 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 do we know? Do we know? Do we know the the context, the history, how they got together, or are we just basically no. just? So, no, not the history. No, not the history. How they got together. Um, obviously, it's it's come out on in the public media over the last two weeks, over the last week or so, actually, on on how oh, um, that they're together. Because she was saying that she'd only had two boyfriends, and this is her second boyfriend. But like, for me, it's just it was the age thing, which was the big, which was for me, it was it was scary because. We, we we've seen this kind of age thing. Obviously, we've seen it that way around with the the college boys or the boys driving cars coming to check the little school girls all that kind of stuff. And you know what I mean? Like, obviously, it's the other way around, but it's still a little bit like because usually we're used to the R. Kelly's, the Diddy's, the little girls, whatever, allegedly. But like this being the other way around, it just seems a bit like whoa. Like I just don't think you should be putting it out there. Like become like be easy, man. Be a girl child. You're good. You ain't got to grow up too fast and date old men like that. Well, she's 21, but I suppose. Yeah, and, and the thing is, right, people... But we wouldn't want that for our own 21-year-olds. Do you get me? That's that's of course, always... Of course not. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking, what, what's the... Again, bearing in mind she's 21, but it's the law, isn't it? Like, and just what context, what, like, like, did they go out, did they go out seeking each other or is it just one of them ones where they happen to just be in each other's company one day and it's like, wow, we really hit it. We just really hit it off for some re reason. Don't know. Yeah, and 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 this is the thing. And and what um, Merv is saying, actually, do you know what? They actually might be really in love, and 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 both of them at the time maybe needed each other, and now can they're falling really in love. Can you really be in love? Can you really be in love with someone three times your age? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, of course you can. Of course. You can. Even that guy that we were talking about the other day that might get the James Bond role, like his missus is like. I feel like twice his age. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to give us since he was a, I think he was eighteen, and she was like uh, forty. I think I believe. Michael Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones as well. Yeah, that's that's number one. Yeah, Harrison Ford and Melissa Flock Hart. Is that didn't even forty years, bro. Forty three years, bro. What's that? That's forty three years. Like fifteen years, twenty years, whatever. When you're when you're grown, is not a thing in it. 43 years is bro, that's free life like that's life in the sense of when one went to school like his his 
aspect of school or university is totally different. They were using typewriters. <laughs> yeah. They she's using like AI stuff, bro. <laughs> Oh, Look, but Nate, Nate, let's let's be honest, right? Some people would just say age is just a number, right? So people use it when the narrative when they want to use it. Do you when, know what I mean? I, I, I'm, 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 not, no, I'm not condoning any of this to be because yeah. obviously, but obviously it's my opinion. But people will say age is just a number as long as both what individuals you, what are happy. teenager. What do you mean by teenager? <laughs> oh, no, I think about R. Kelly in it. <laughs> No, so, as long as the both individuals are happy, um, no one's no, opinion actually matters. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm like I said, I'm what I'm not involved. It's just, it's just for me, it was just a bit of it was an alarming thing to come out. And I, I then kind of obviously when you look at these things, I relate it to those around me, and I say to myself, it's not that's something that I would want for mine. No, and 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 I would and and I agree on what you said that. You feel that as a parent, you've done something wrong. Yeah, but even but even I'm saying, even as a sixty five year old man, I still think for him, like, raw. Why is this little young thing? You get me? Like, she wants rounds. I haven't got rounds in me. I got to pop pills. Like, whatever the case may be, in it respectfully. <laughs> Respect you're, going deep, bro. you're going too deep, bro. Respectfully. Yeah. But anyway, let's man, just move on from that. Man said let's rounds, move on. you know. <laughs> we'll move on from that. I don't, I don't, I don't even have rounds in me now. But yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about 10 years. No, joking. But anyway, um, <laughs> talking of entertainment, guys, um, and I know this is one, for me, I, I haven't watched all of it. I've only watched clips, and I've been told that this is probably the closest WrestleMania we've had to the WWE Attitude Era ever. Yeah, it was WrestleMania 40, and we had all all, all, the, all the big movie stars came back. Well, no, apart from one, um, The Rock was back, John Cena was back. Um, old man, did any Cena. of you did you watch any of it, Rich, or you got did you just watch clips as well? No, I, I watched clips as well because I, I planned to stay up. Um, I didn't work, it didn't work. <laughs> I watched, I watched some clips as well. I didn't know it was coming on, you know. I didn't I didn't realise. Yeah, what WrestleMania comes over two days now, bro. It comes over two days. So you had Saturday and then you had Sunday. Hmm. And to be honest, I remember this morning, so I couldn't watch it. Like, but yeah. Um we had obviously there are some people we have no idea who they are, in it. If I told you that Damien Priest beat Drew McIntyre for the championship, none of you know who those people yeah, are. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, Oh, you, do, okay. yeah, you watch it still sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Logan Paul, he's the United States champion. He My beat G Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. But it's, uh, did, you, did you see um, <laughs> I Show Speed come out? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I was asking now. I Show Speed, this guy, he, same, similar, to, similar to what KSI did last year, came in a prime outfit. And... <laughs> And Randy Orton just kicked the hell out of him, and then RKO'd him well, well. Good. But, Good. but you know what? Wrestling is just—it's silly now, isn't it? It's so silly. Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's just like the exhibitional boxing concepts. You know, like YouTubers are coming in and all that kind of stuff, and it's just like, yeah, we're don't get me wrong. We, 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 no, we always had celebs that came in, made it cameos. You remember Tyson you used to I mean? come in to be the yeah, like, Tyson came uh, as a referee. special guest referee. Then he got involved. Snoop, remember? So remember Snoop when yeah. Snoop did it? Yeah. <laughs> um, B.A. Baracus, he came in it back in the yeah. day. That's what I mean. Like, There's always been like... Yeah, but that but, was but, like... But that's a bit too much now, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is too much. And it's just like, it's losing its realness. Well, I Obviously. guess it has been really been, <laughs> been, been real. The Rock was there. The Rock came back. Undertaker came back. I, I didn't see that. But the thing is, yeah. you know, Rock, Rock's been back for like at least two, three months, you know? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, this I, is like I, I WrestleMania. Was switched on someone. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. But he was this one in WrestleMania. But Undertaker came out. Because obviously, remember Undertaker? He had never lost to WrestleMania till the other day. He lost the last time he was in there, innit? So he came out and then he started trying to like sneak this the rock kind of thing, like kind of punched up the rock and ran off. 
Really? No, oh, I'm just taking yeah. moves like that. Did yeah, you, did you have the, did you have the classic? Do you have the classic get up? Yeah, his hat. And no, nah, he's. He's no longer that Undertaker. You know the Undertaker with the hat and all that? Yeah, yeah. He's not that Undertaker. He's badass Undertaker. Oh, the right. one who's got like... The rock... He's gone, the, back, the, the, the back, back, back. he's gone back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a badass. Look, see? Listen, listen, oh. listen, listen. But can I just say something here? Yeah? The same frustration I have with Sylvester Stallone, um, Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger... And all those guys there. Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have <laughs> beep. Um, I have the frustration um with also wrestlers as well as right. Um, Undertaker, stop it. I love you, I respect you, but your time you can't keep on coming back every year and doing unnecessary activities, right? John Cena. When I saw him run into the ring, I started busting up. I said, bro, you can't run no more. You're fi- you know, you're finished. He- and the thing is, he's going to go home. Oh, I had a great WrestleMania. Let's watch it back. Press play. And he's going to see himself running. And he looks like some old man limping. That I-, I felt, you know what? I felt embarrassed for him. Don't be fooled. I, I love John Cena. I remember when he first came into wrestling maybe the early ages of 20 or mid-20s, whatever it is. And to, to see him come back into WWE and, you know, obviously he's, he's trying to pursue his acting career, which is absolutely fantastic. And he's, I think he's doing a good job. But some of his roles I, I'm a bit concerned about, but some of his roles he's done really well. But um, coming back into WWE, trying to run into the ring, I can see you're already out of breath, bruv. And you, you're <laughs> just trying to fight. It's unnecessary. He's only a couple of years older than you, you know. <laughs> that probably happens to the rest of us. How old is he? 46. Oh, wow. Man, I said a couple of years, bro. Three years, <laughs> please. Yeah, don't you no, can't just no, but that's yeah, the but... Look, if we, if we were back in wrestling, that's the how it would be. Like, we're just, you get me, you're not running properly. No, but you, you, you really think I'm going to do the ultimate warrior? <laughs> and come and... and... <laughs> Yes. You, know that blowing, you know that ultimate warrior, you know that blowing he did, yeah? I'll be real blowing. No, but that's actually, that's the only way we'll get our breath back, bro. Give me air. <laughs> the only way we'll be able to get oxygen in our lungs, fam. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, yeah. it was, definitely, it was good to see WrestleMania back. Like, I think, I mean, it's, 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 it's one, for me, wrestling is always going to be one of the things of our childhood. I'm actually going to watch wrestling this week, Wednesday, like, obviously, it's not a big, like, WWE kind of style, but I'm fully, like, gassed to be watching the local wrestling in the Shires and see what it's about, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be doing the shouting, all of that stupidness. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Mean? you have to take part. I'm there, I'm there for the long run. What are the but, tickets like? Yes. Like, £10 tickets and all that? Um, I think we paid, like, £30 for a family ticket, like, two adults, two kids. Yeah, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know what it was there. I think we're like close to the front and everything. You know, like that. See, the, the thing is about that kind of stuff. There's really real potential of someone breaking the leg or breaking an arm or dislocating a shoulder. Realness. Yeah. The ones where like, don't tell your mommy you saw this, please. Don't tell your mommy you saw this. Like, this is <laughs> Get me. Bone, bone sticking out and things you're like <laughs> no it's a special effects don't worry because <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if Edge has ever watched wrestling before in his life to be honest like I, I, I think it's more about me than him but I've got to use an excuse that why I'm going yeah, to watch standard. wrestling alright um, we've been talking about the return of certain things and certain Products to the MCU, one of those being the Fantastic Four. So, Nick, can I just, sorry, can I just add one more thing. So, just one more thing. Yeah, yeah. Just quickly, just a quickly, quick thing. Have you are you man up to date? With this whole J Cole Kendrick Lamar beef, what's going on? Yes. Well, if you know Kendrick, I mean J Cole apologize. No, no, no. no, he didn't apologize. He didn't apologize. He apologized, bro. He didn't apologize. Don't do that. He didn't apologize. What he said so what was, he, what do you do? So what he, no, what is, he didn't apologize, but that's how he did there. But what he but what it was is he said he didn't like the way it made him feel, like spiritually. Do you get me? Like spiritually, like he said he shouldn't have been he shouldn't 
be dissing the next man and his craft to kind of make himself feel good and that he didn't like that feeling. But anyway, it doesn't matter because you know that J. Cole was better than fucking Kendrick. But anyway, that's why that's that's why I'm not even gonna get involved in this. Because J. Cole was better than Kendrick. And well, anytime that's, that's, you that's, that's, and that's, someone that's have weak. a beef with me, we'll do it. That's not weak because it's, it wasn't it's about it's, it's weak, it's weak. But anyway, it's move on. It's, it's Don't weak. worry. After the point, that's not hip-hop. I'll holler at you. Uh, no, but he knows that, and he said it wasn't in the spirit of hip hop. But it wasn't hip hop that made him do it. He allowed like the the culture vultures. No, Kedri kind of... dissed you, bro. You respond. That's hip hop. Yeah, but he's he's but he's a man. Go and watch. Listen to what's his name. Was listen. Tupac? Was Tupac and Biggie? Were, were they not men? Was Was LL Cool J and Cannabis? Were, were they men? Um, Fifty Cent and Ja Rule were they men? What are you talking about? No, um, no, no, can no, you no, phone no. Kel in Ghana, please? Thank you. <laughs> Kel, I'll send you some videos. Yeah. All right. Easy, Jeff. All right, you know. So, Silver Surfer, what's happening with this Fantastic Four? Julie Garner, that's what's happening with her. Who is Julie Garner? So, Julie Garner, um, for those of you who are familiar with um, her character, Ruth. And it's Julia, yeah? Ju- yeah, Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yeah, Julia Garner. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, she was in Ozark as Ruth Langmore, um, and also recently, what we watched—I don't know if any of you watched it—but Inventing Anna, that series. No. 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 Okay. No. Yeah. Anyway, she's gonna um, play a version of Silver for Silver Surfer, which is um, what's her name, Shala Shala Bell. Like so, kind of like an anti hero sort of thing like same with like um i can't remember what the original silver server's name is but basically a servant of galactus isn't it cola some, yeah. i started with k or something i can't remember yeah 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 i've got some serious name but um yeah she's going to be playing her and i guess everyone was like oh gosh what was a female silver, silver server like what are they doing this sort of thing but um no nah, i'm 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 happy for this man because she's a really good actri- actress and I think like it will give her some range in acting as well because so far I've seen her in like yeah both both of those programs I mentioned she's mm-hmm. one of those characters that you you love to hate or vice versa like she's just got so much energy in it so I think that playing Silver Surfer I think she'll do a good job. But sorry, yeah. let, me, let me just jump. Oh, let, me, no. let me oh let me just jump in quickly. Like because of the Silver Surfer cons, like I had to go and watch um, Fantastic Four again, hmm. right? And to be honest, I don't think anyone can get Silver Surfer really wrong. Because if because Silver Surfer doesn't have to talk much. To, like from what we've seen about Silver Surfer, mm. I'm obviously Merv, I'm not obviously I'm not going back into comic books because I, I never read the comic books or yeah, really yeah. saw yeah. a lot of animation. But from what we've seen on the Silver Surfer, for, so what I've seen and the few people have seen about the Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four. He was absolutely fan. The character was fantastic, and whoever the actor was playing him, he didn't speak much. He was just his Lawrence, presence. Lawrence, Fish, Lawrence Fishburne, isn't it? Was it? Yeah, the, the, what you're talking about the recent film, the one with um, Johnny, not Johnny Storm, Chris Evans and Jessica Alba and all that. Yeah, the, the back in the day one, yeah. yeah. Um, Larry, 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 Larry Fish, Lawrence Fishburne's voice, isn't it? I can't let you know, is that an end? But this is what I'm trying to say. Like, it was perfect. He didn't say too much. He was just a guy in his, 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 his board flying around and Galactus telling him, look, Galactus, allow this earth, innit? allow it, you know, do just, do, just go somewhere else. But hmm. honestly, I, I don't think she will have too much to do in it. But And I'm, I, I'm in my head, I'm thinking, Willem, I haven't seen a female Silver Surfer. So in my head, I'm thinking, would she still have the same? Would she have a bald head? Because, like, from what we know from the Silver Surfer, do you get what I mean? I hope, I hope she has a bald head. To be fair, because I see some images with the with the long one. It just looks weird, like yeah. long silvery hair. How does that work? Just be bald, isn't it? Yeah, and they can make and, it work, Mo. They can make yeah. it work. Trust me. No, but if you yeah, if you look at no, but if you're Might looking be... at sorry, go on. Yeah, no, go on, go on. If you're looking at animation mm. and you're looking at comic books. Civil Surfer's always been bold. Yeah. So I hope they keep it bold, yeah. And also, it's also always been a man. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but exactly. It's always been a man. So now they're changing it up. So obviously, they'll be more <laughs> curvaceous, hopefully, you know what I mean? 
you know, to make <laughs> it stand out like a woman. Yeah, like, so make it evident that it's a woman, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the word. Don't worry, that's like the word. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But anyway, yeah. So, I, I, I'm, I, look, I'm I'm for it. They've changed character. I'm for it. I, I don't mind it, to be honest. Just as long as she is effective as the silver surfer. That's me. Like, if someone's changing the race um, or the gender, be effective. Make sure you play that role better than the original Silver Surfer that I saw in Fantastic Four. Because that's what that's what's key for me. Because Merv, look how long we were in in a WhatsApp group. Like we kept on doing Silver Surfer stuff, sending stuff because Silver Surfer was it was actually sick. Do you remember in the group of me, you, Junior, and Hender? Always yeah, yeah, yeah. send Silver Surfer yeah. videos or do whatever because it was impactful. He was a great character and he had a few quotes, not, not nothing super, super Thanos quotes. He had a few quotes and it was like, you know what? He was sick. Didn't say much, just did his thing, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So his 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 job was just to seek the world out and, and say, yo, come, yeah, God is ready. And Galactus will come in, yeah. right? Basically, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That that's what that's what it was there for. Because um, do you know what? I watched um just talking about Silver Surfer and the director. I can't remember the director's name of Fantastic Four. And they wanted him to um have Galactus as a character actually in that film. He refused. He said he's not having no character, no Galactus CGI character at all. So that's why they made Galactus as this big kind of cloudy kind of concept. Um, oh, yeah, it just come at the end, didn't it? Like, yeah, that would have. Yeah, hmm. you just see his helmet, his head was head shaping it. Yeah, I think they made. I think they made the right decision. To be fair. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Was, was he a Doctor Strange? Galactus? No, I don't, Doctor Strange. No, no, I don't think so. There, there was a. There was a. Um... You're, you're talking about um, Dormammu. Oh yeah, you are. Okay, okay. Mom, is it the mama? Yeah, yeah the mama, the mama. I've come to bargain. Yeah, yeah, okay. I need to watch Doctor Strange again because I need to. I can't remember the mama's face, but yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I'm. I'm not excited for it, but um, when does it come out? I don't know. You know. Twitch, and is it? Is it going to be part? Is it going to be in Fantastic Four? Is it going to be? Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Part, yeah, part of Fantastic Four. Part of the Fantastic Four lineup, yeah. Okay, no, no, I'm just, you know, sometimes they might introduce a character within um, maybe one of the Avengers briefly and mm. then then bring him into that kind of Fantastic Four. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, it's weird, you know. I don't, I wonder. Yeah, because that's like, obviously we had the one, the, fan, the other Fantastic Four in between, um, the one with the Rise of the Silver Surfer. So it's quite... A bold move that they've just actually still continued to put in Silver Surfer in it. Yeah. Straight away. Like we're getting a whole new Fantastic Four fresh for the MCU and they're already putting Silver Surfer in it. So Kevin Feige knows what he's doing. So let's let's well. But I, but, I you, so. <laughs> but you know what you know what's gonna happen though, isn't it? Look. The pre core of the Silver Surfer. <laughs> how we, yeah. How 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 we, how she lost her family. Uh, no, no, her family hasn't haven't been locked. No, have, 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 well, his family is still alive, and Galactus said to him, "I will kill your whole family, your whole planet, if you don't, if you don't work for me." Hmm. And that's the reason why he goes around all the planets and seeking new planets for him to digest. Yeah, greedy boy. I like it. <laughs> Rich done his research. My man, I love Silver Surfer, you know. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's well done, bro. It's not, it's not a bad thing. No, 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 no. All right. Um, the other thing is Transformers, it's now officially 40 years old. Well, it's officially 40 years old soon, not yeah. right now. Yeah, and what are they doing to celebrate this 40th anniversary event? They do it. I know that they're putting the first. Four, three or four episodes of the series on in, in selected cinemas. So like, I think that's around the 16th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, mate. So, Tickets are going to sell this Wednesday. Yeah. I was getting excited, you know, because I thought they were doing the um, Transformers, the 1984 movie or 85 movie. So I said, yeah, yeah, going to... I think I've seen that. I think that's the first film I ever remember seeing in the cinema, you know, Transform- Transformers the movie. And I loved it. Do you know what I mean? Well, can, can I just say, Transformers, when it first came out, I watched it four times. What was the movie? The, the movie. The movie. Watch it for. I met Kofi twice. If you might know Kofi, I met Kofi oh. twice. And twice I went by myself. What, sorry, what Transformers are you talking about? The. the animated movie or the the michael uh, bay ones michael huh? bay ones oh. michael bay ones oh. when um shay Sh- booth oh yeah yeah <laughs> I, I thought i thought that was he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a grown man doing that yeah yeah he's a grown man fully, full, fully grown. Oh, oh, yeah, what, what year did that film come out man said 40 though. so everyone was clean his end, end of 20s <laughs> yeah well, when did that film come out don't try it <laughs> recently, <laughs> recently recently oh, 2007. Yeah. Come on, 2007, you're trying to criticise me. I, I still, he said you was an adult. Yeah, everybody was an adult when they went to cinema, no? No, no, you said it went twice by yourself. That's what I'm saying. Like, you was a full adult. Yeah, but do, do you oh, know... I went yeah, to see Amanda I... still five times. Uh, who? When he came out, yeah. What, what film? Insane, isn't it? Man of still, why? Yeah. That's because you fell asleep and you needed to see it. That's no, 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 I was never asleep. Never asleep, man, wide awake. You know the Smurf, right? Listen, certain things he just forces it. <laughs> what he does, he, he goes, you know what he does? He goes with different crowds of people. No, some of them by myself, bro. Some of them yeah. I went by myself. No, one or two, there maybe, just to yeah. clarify your verdict of the film, right? But what he does, he goes with groups. He's got one group, then he goes with another group, then he goes with another group, then he goes by himself and takes all their to all takes all their feedback and embeds it in his brain and convinces himself it was a absolutely fantastic film. Are, are you thinking about another murder in the multiverse or something? Because I we don't do that, bro. <laughs> we don't do that. I'm just <laughs> saying, everyone listening, this is how Merv works. Nah, this man. is how he works. No. Nah. The only group, the only group, um, mm-hmm. viewing not mm-hmm. done was, mm-hmm. ba- yeah, Batman versus Superman. That was a view guys and some other guys. Yeah, we watched it too. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I can remember, really. Batman, Superman, what a waste of, what a waste, never a waste of film. Yeah, it's all about Transformers. But they was also going to be, you know, which was about to start, which was about to start. Transformers 1 is coming out in September. What, what do you mean? Oh, oh, yeah, the new one. The new one. The new Transformers, which is going to be called Transformers 1. It yeah, should be coming out. Say again? There's not even a trailer for it, is it? No. Nah, it's in well, production. Was, September yeah, 13th. To the chest, right? September 13th. But that one, actually, I think is going to be an animated one. Yes, that's right. That's really right. Uh, I, I, I was I was going to say Transformers 1, please. Don't confuse me because there's been so many Transformers. I've I've actually kind of stopped watching them hmm. from from the time oh, what's his name? That rapper he used to be a rapper back in the day. Oh, oh what's his name? Oh. Marky Mark. Ma- oh, Mark. 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 Yeah. That was his name, right? Yeah, yeah, Marky Mark. Yeah, Marky Mark. Yeah. yeah, like I watched the one with him in it, and I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. That one was tremendously awful, man. Don't this is don't touch. No, 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 no. Like when, when you watch it, they're cool. Like in real life, it, like <laughs> after you think about it, it's dead. But I mean, when you're actually watching it in the cinema, it's sick. I swear, no, that, no. I swear, there was one I was watching. Yeah, I started laughing. I started <laughs> laughing. I don't even. I think it was the one where um, Anthony Hopkins was in it. You know. The night, the one when Optimus turned into a night. I, I think I just started bursting out laughing, like, "What? What am I watching?" But <laughs> well, you still it's watched it, bro. You still enjoyed yeah, it. It was, enter- it was entertaining, it's but it's not in the cinema. Hmm? <laughs> Man, in the cinema, you can't, can't go nowhere else. It's like you're there, isn't it? The um, question I... is, who's your favorite Transformer? Oh, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Nah, yeah. nah. No, do, do you know yeah. what? I, 
you know well, how I am. Go on to his prime. No, but the thing is, like, no, I'm probably I'm probably Megatron, isn't it? <laughs> I'm I'm you know I'm like devil stuff activity, you know, and I'm anger management, isn't it? So like it's, it has to be Mega, it has to be Megatron. I like I love Megatron. Like okay. even I remember, sorry Merv, sorry Merv. Yeah. I remember Transformers One, right? <laughs> and Megatron comes into he flies. I, did he did fly, I can't remember. And he all he said was Prime. That that line there was Prime. too much. Bro. <laughs> It was it was sick. Listen, Megatron, bro. Megatron. I big know, up, big up, um, like, it's like sound bites. Big, big up, big up, Hugo Weaving for doing his voice as well. Didn't well, expect um, that. Too, um, Ter Terminator, right? Yeah. No, um, Hugo Weaving's um, Agent Smith from the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. I said Terminator. I meant Matrix. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's yeah. sick. Um, but do you know what it is? Yeah. I think honestly. When, since Shirley Birth, the hey, boy, you pronounce his name, yeah? It's not Butter, it's not Butter bro. <laughs> you butchered everyone's name, bro. Nah, allow me, allow you said me. said it right the first time as well. <laughs> I, I just make you show up. I'm probably three. Nah, um, <laughs> allow me, innit? Um, but ever since he left, honestly, I think it's, I think it's been awful. I think he was he was such a fantastic actor for Transformers. Yeah, I and did like him. In it. I did like him. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. It was a funny character. Um, I, I, obviously, I know he's got his own ways of thinking, his own theories, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I really loved his acting as part of Transformers. Yeah. And again, I think when they changed the um, that girl, I can't remember her real name, Megan Megan Fox. Yeah, when they changed her as well, and it's just like you kind of lost the kind of original core characters. And I was like, that's when it went downhill. Yeah, my 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 favorite Transformers is um Transformers um Hot Rod, also known oh, as yeah. Prime. Really? Yeah. Bro, that, when that car came out, I thought that's that's the one Transformer that was hard to get hold of. You know, the new <laughs> generation ones. And oh, it, and the way it just became Rodimus Prime at the end of the um the original animated movie because he he opened up the Matrix in it to light our darkest hour and it's oh that was sick and he just destroyed Unicron. Like yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I might have to check it out. You know, I haven't. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm familiar with Hot Rod. Really I know. Orson Welles, bro. Megatron, <laughs> bro. That like you need to watch that again just with his voice, bro. It's sick. Oh, dude, I love. I love these voices. Um, bye, bye, Kel. Um, yeah. So yeah. So, so no, no, no. Yeah, go on. All right. Thank you. Uh, we've had some trailers. <laughs> that have drops, bro. Um, the first one is a series that we all watched last time, which was called Them, mm -hmm. and Them has got a season two trailer that has just dropped. And Them season two is set to drop later on this month, I believe. Yeah, yeah. April. Do you know what? my my bad when you when you asked me about trailers last week? That actually did drop that same yeah, week, no. and I forgot to mention it. But yeah, yeah so, but, uh, it's fine, bro. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Was them worthy of a season two? I thought yeah, them was... Yeah. No, no, I just thought them was a fantastic season one. That was it. I can't remember how it ended, but I know what you mean. It's like, was there a need to make a season two? Because it was, was it just like a contained story? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but you know what I was confused about? Because obviously it's the same um, actress as playing yeah. That's in yeah. it, I mean. But to me... It looks like it's a whole different timeline, like well, like it's in the future, well, present day, if, if anything. And it seems like she's playing a different character. I believe it is. Yeah, yeah that could work, I suppose. I but believe it is. That's because them season one was the one with Bastion, isn't it? Yeah, and he's in and they were in nineteen fifty three. Yeah, and he is he in this one as well? I'm not sure if he's in this one, but this one is set in nineteen ninety one. Okay, yeah, yeah, I knew it was more modern. Yeah. But yes, and... go on. I don't no, understand. I, I I just don't understand it. I don't understand why we're doing this because I'm confused. Well, I I, know, I, it probably, I, yeah. I feel like we got to watch the first episode for uh, then we'll be able to understand a little bit more, in it. Mm. No, some, so, some things just really, some things are just really good, so they just make more, isn't it? 
That's what it probably didn't need a a, a, a second season, but or unless it was just always intended because like obviously a lot of these things are based off books, isn't it? So series might, one, yeah. series one is called the Covenant. Mm. Series two is called the Scare. Yeah, so it's probably relevant then. Yeah, must be based. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Now, I, I look, don't be that. I, I'm, I'm here for it. I'll, I'll, I'll obviously, us men will, will watch it as standard, but I, I'll just, like like I said, like I just thought it was just a one off TV no. show, which which was, which I really enjoyed. I didn't think it was bound to have a, a form of a season two. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that it's based in 1991, I'm like, like in my head, I'm still kind of trying, it, trying to link it. I will try and link it back to season one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not meant to yeah, link it to season it. one. But yeah, I swear they've done. They've done other um, TV programs. Like that. I'm sure they have. Where it's like the same character, yeah. same actors, just playing different characters, same kind of overarching story, really. Yeah. But Pam Grier is in this season. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I ain't seen this. Since yeah, I ain't seen this since Jackie Brown, man. I mean, she's sick. Um, this is a few people that come in this one anyway. Wayne Knight, um, who was in Seinfeld, and he's in a few other stuff. He's in this one as well. And he does so, the voice yeah. of Hunter and Tarzan, isn't it? Yeah. So, no, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, there was another trailer that dropped. What was the other trailer that dropped that's coming up soon? Abigail. No, nah, we're, we're talking about Abigail. Oh, we can talk about Abigail next week. We're talking about the ones on the list. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I don't remember. Abigail, yeah. I can't stand Abigail. That was a horror, isn't it? That looks sick, though. Horror. It was sick, Tell but it might as well let me in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I won't be watching it. It's bullshit. I don't know which one I'll see because there's let me in and let the right one in. I've seen one of them. But I know they're like... The one with Chloe. The one with Chloe. What's the name? More. Chloe Moore. Tears. Chloe From Mortez. Dutch team, right? Yeah. Chloe Mortez. Mortez. Yeah. Mortez. Mortez. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah. No, the other trailer name is something like that. Um, Star Wars. Tells the Empire. Yeah, Tells the Empire. So, you know, like they had their Tells of the Jedi series, but they had different... Um, it's weird, I'm sure. No, that was Star Wars Visions. But they did have Tales of the Jedi before, innit? Like, one of the series. Yeah. It's yeah. a sequel yeah. to Tales of the Jedi. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so this time they're doing like I guess more of the dark side in it. So um, like basing it on some Sith apprentice, basically. But um, it looks good, man, because obviously you see my boy Darth Vader in there just at the end of the trailer. So it's it's always, it's always, uh, hold on. It's only supposed to be six episodes. Yeah, six parts. Yeah. So what we were talking about last week then, something to do with Star Acolyte. Wars. Acolyte. No, I see. This, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm just getting confused. Like there's too much, there's too much going on. <laughs> do, you get, do you get what I mean? Is this like you're talking about one trailer and last week you spoke about another one? I'm like, okay, this is why this is why okay. I know people like Star Wars and it, it's it's a a groundbreaking film that came in back came out in the eight, well late nine seventies early eighties but don't how are you like I know Merv you're you're the main guy for Star Wars right how are you still in touch and understanding what is actually happening because it seems like they're doing a marvel do you, do you get what I mean of all this all these TV shows and I'm like I'm I'm a bit bam, bamboozled and all the different timelines and but the timeline's not coming out in order, and Disney. yeah, yeah. This um, I can't remember. Obviously, the timeline's obviously when when what's his name still alive and Darth Vader. So it's quite earlier on. Well, after all the sixty six, and before all the Luke Skywalker stuff. But um, yeah, it's about it's about a former Jedi basically that's gone. Yeah, that's gone dark side basically. But no, I, I know what you mean though, Rich. Like. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, it's, it's, it is. I love Star Wars, yeah, but you're right. I think everything that they've brought out, and there's only an exceptional few like Andor. Andor's been really good. Mandalorian, yeah. 
maybe not the last season wasn't so great. Um, yeah, but they don't like they're not they they, they bring out stuff because they can, and it's like let's just focus and make a really good Star Wars property. But I do I do. I, I do like all the animated stuff though. Like, cause, yeah, Bad Batch just, I think Bad Batch finishes this week actually, the last ever Bad Batch. And the thing is, this is what happened. And like, I like animation, right? Hmm. But I don't necessarily like the amount of animation that relates to Star Wars. Like, you know, like we, we have, we have, we have, um, what's it called? What if, right? Yeah. With, um, with, with Marvel and all that kind of stuff. That was okay because it's not in your face. There's not so many. So you can accept parts of it, accept it because I think it's six episodes. But what you what you mentioned, Bad Batch, how many episodes are there and what other Star Wars animation are there as well? I think Bad Batch is like 13, 13 episodes across three seasons. And it's the last of a season. Thank you. Yeah, I did finish that. I, I, I think I watched the first season that I stopped. Yeah. Um, I, I remember the promise you made to Merv two years ago. Yeah, no, no but that was that was because of um, what was it um, that was because of um, what's it called? <laughs> what was I watching? Mandalorian. Yeah. Nah, the animation one. There's so Clone many Wars. Episodes. Clone Wars. Clone that's probably there's so many episodes. So many. <laughs> See, and that's Clone why Wars is sick, man. I just stuck to the films, bro. I stuck to the films and TV shows. I said, fuck animation. I don't watch cartoons as it is. So I can't watch all that. I didn't matter but, if it but, but, thing, but in Star Wars, if you're a Star Wars fan, you have to watch the animation because it all links up. No, even that's with, what um, I heard. Even, even, even with... Ashoka, no, Ashoka? I, I... Yeah. Yeah, no, Ashoka, I heard that. Yeah, you have to watch Rebels. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll guess it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. The man said he would guess it, you know. But um, just to let you lot know, there are a few things coming out this week. Um, a film called Civil War is coming out this week in the cinema, uh, looks which looks like a good film. It's got yeah. nothing to do with Captain America, so don't go there expecting to see a sequel. But that <laughs> looks like a good film. Um Back to Black, the Amy Winehouse film. Um, I do like myself uh, some good. Amy. That film looks good. And also, uh, Fallout, the series that we spoke about before, is also coming out this week. So by the time the pod comes out, it might have come out already, but we will look at that for next week. Does anyone know what channel Fallout is coming out? Is Fallout coming out on Prime? Yeah, Prime, yeah. Cool. So we would definitely talk about Fallout. I think they're dropping two episodes first, I think. Yeah, yeah the usual. Yeah. Yeah, the usual spill. All right. Um, sorry about this, Kel. Um, we're going to go into some regulars very quickly. Uh, we had a BMF Season 3, Episode 6. <sighs> um, what are we saying? I don't, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. What I don't, is it? I, I should be listening to this, man. I don't want to watch it. No, the site is not because of I don't like it. BMF is good. Like BMF is getting a lot better. Like where Kel um, Rich was complaining about it, you can't complain about it now. BMF is good. Yeah, this this episode was good as well. It's good. Last week's last week's was good. That's what I'm saying. It's... I think like beginning it started slow, but it's getting hmm. better. Do you not concur, but... Rich? No, no, it doesn't. And this is why I wouldn't. No. no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You, you don't know my you, you're just assuming, right? Can we look at your facial expressions? It's still assuming the last two episodes have been better 100%. I totally agree with that. It's been more, However, it, it, it's been more hard hitting because of the incidents that happened. Do you get what I mean? But prior to that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start saying. The show, this is one of the best seasons based on two episodes, not on my watch. Right now, it's struggling. It's struggling. But based on the two episodes, I understand your optimism of the show now. Thank you. But go ahead. Let us know about the show. 
Um, I think it was good. Um, I enjoyed the relationship with the mum and dad. I'm forgetting the people's names at the moment, to be honest. Charles and like, Lucille. Charles and Lucille. Charles is really, really trying to secure his bae, bro. The daughter, he's she's like... Doing well. he's doing well. Are you looking back together? The mum was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> The, mom, the, the, the way the mum shut it down was like, you could see on Charles's face like, oh, okay, no. It's, <laughs> we haven't done enough yet. Not yet. But, um, and then obviously she goes out on the date with the other man and then obviously the doctor and then basically the daughter goes into, or the daughter-in-law goes into labour. Mm-hmm. And Charles comes home and sees the doctor giving birth to his grandchild. That's got hurt, man. Hurt. And I, I like the way that Terry just left his new thing and went back to the old thing. Obviously, she's having a baby, but yeah. she's looking at him like, "Why? How dare you?" Like Terry's like, "No, I've got a goal, bro. Like, what about me? How am I going to get home? Like, someone give her a lift home. He, he busts out. I like it. Yeah, straight. I respect but, it. Yeah. That that Lala. I'm not. I'm not. A... What you did she, she do to the phone? By the way, she done something to the phone. I, I even rewound it. Did she like she turn it off? Or... Okay, yeah, yeah she she turned off his pager. Um. And turn off his phone so that they're not interrupted of any sort. You know, you know, the ones obviously is like obviously their phones are old in it, so I didn't see no screen. <laughs> I didn't see, like, I didn't see what's going on in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I just, I, I, I think Terry's a bit of a plonker, really. I, I know, I know, you know. I just feel that the whole it's like playing both of them while your missus is pregnant. It's not something that I do. I don't, I don't think, I, don't, I think it's morally wrong. But of course, that that is his life, and that's what happened. As is obviously, I know it's loosely based on the true story, true stories, but I'm I'm pretty confident it happened. I feel for the detective. Obviously, he got fired, didn't it? Oh yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian got fired. Hmm. Um, I yeah, feel yeah. for him, but I feel like he's gonna somehow link up with Meech to get rid of my girl. Yeah, but the the, the the what was it called again? That line, the enemy of my enemy is whatever. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. You know what I'm trying to go with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because she needs to go because she's like she's actually she's gonna make me throw something at TV. <laughs> I told you guys from the beginning, from the very beginning. No, hundred percent. It's atrocious. It's hundred percent. It's awful because like now she's even listening to her dad. Like her yeah. dad's just saying, like it's cool, just just agree with them and keep it moving. And she just won't. Like I, you see when, when he bur- when he burst through and he was gonna shoot her, the, when yeah. Brian was gonna shoot her. Yeah. I was like, God, we your bad self. Like he was taking yeah. my now. I thought he was gonna die. I thought he was gonna die right then and there, you know. No, nah, I knew they couldn't kill him. I knew they couldn't yeah. kill him. Is it was only based on that we knew that Brian arrested Meech? Um, it's kind of like we just, yeah. I just oh, know yeah. Brian is not here. Yeah, Brian's not here to die, in it. He's he's here for the long run, and yeah. the fact that he's, the fact that they got sacked, I, I wonder how they're gonna reemploy him, like to come back into the police force, unless he works for, unless he goes to like FBI. What is he FBI now? I don't even know what he is. No, no, he's he was he's local cop. No, he's always in dress down, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, he's, he's, he's like a, he's just like a, a, a detective. detective, isn't it? He's a detective? just a detective. Yeah. Oh, detect sorry, detective. Okay, okay, detective. Yeah, yeah. but um, did um, was it what's his partner's what's his ex partner's name? The um, the Eastern Asian woman, detective Jin. Veronica Jin. Jin, Jin, Jin. Jin. So it that was the episode where um, that her partner got killed, right? Or was that yeah, yeah, yeah? I, last, I, I last week. Oh, was that last week? Oh, my yeah. God. yeah, when he shot the place, when he got, he got yeah, into the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry, it's my bad. And then this week was the, the funeral of the little boy, but they, it's like there was three funerals happening at the same time, or two funerals happening at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that was... like no, I, but I, I, he pushed Terry into the, the open grave, bro. No, nah, bro, you don't understand, yeah? Like, could you imagine? <laughs> You're alive, yeah, and you didn't know, bro. That's no, mental, bro. I, I just don't I just don't understand why he didn't get shot there and there. <laughs> Obviously, I don't wish death upon anyone. Well, I know because I, realistically I they could have shot both of them. Because even though Detective Jim pulled out a gun, 
they both would have got it done. They both yeah, would have got it cracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight. That, that there, that is seriously embarrassing. Like, to push me into... You know someone's going to get buried there and you push me into someone's grave. And then now, my bridges have got to pull me out. Because <laughs> you, can't, you can't jump out. Nah, Despite how know. tall he is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's that's pretty tall. Yeah, that was, yeah, he's probably tall as well. Yeah, and that's mad. But I, I, I respect... Um, I respect um, Terry for to go in, to go in to see her dad. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, because it's like no, because it, you can tell that where Terry lost, like what five six people, um, following the shooting. It's just like I've lost all these people. It's like why? We kind of need to put an end to this. Obviously, he, he he approached the woman and she wasn't having none of it. So he's for let me go to the big dog and obviously have the, have the conversation with him, but. Obviously, she was like, "Nah, I'm still gonna do my own thing." And I, I, I'm, I honestly want to know how she turned turn out this way, because her dad is completely different to what she is. You know, so you know, you, you got, you know, like kids and the child. There's there's some similarities, sim, sim, yeah, you know what I mean, um, between them, right. right? Yeah, but with her, she's like gold teeth all over her mouth and I'm like was she just constantly trying to rebel against her dad to, to gain that attention do you get what I mean mm. but anyway I, I just like her character and and I, I expect her to be taken out shortly but like you said um, is it Merv or Nate that um, Brian will probably link up with Meech and right, it's not even Meech you know, probably Terry because don't forget Meech hasn't Meech had, like Atlanta wasn't it yeah, he has, has he's had no involvement of her, so it would yeah, be. So but I, I question: Would would Terry actually want to do anything with him following being being pushed in the grave? Yeah, but I feel like you know, like they they plan to get together to take out the enemy in it. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. I get that. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, what, yeah. What else but, happened? Sorry, I was going to continue. What else happened? In BMF this week. Um, yeah. The Haitians are still after them lot in Atlanta. And it's kind of like everyone's almost turning on each other because no one knows who to trust. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. remember, Meech, and then Meech wants to leave. Meech is going to leave, but he can't leave because the stripper girl wants to go with him. He doesn't really want to take her. He's telling her to no, stay. No, no he, he leaves. Yeah, he leaves, but he tells a stripper girl to stay. No, yeah, but I don't know if you're a stripper girl, but no, but she's a stripper, isn't it? This is what she is. I'll especially try to like make some like no, kind no. Of threat, like going to some next man or something. Good, yeah, right? she said that he yeah, goes yeah. to what you said that to me. All right, cool. You mean you are done, basically. That's what he said, me and you are yeah. done. But yeah. I've got a feeling he's the one that has his son. I think she was the one that's going to be pregnant. Because he, Mitch has only got one son. But ain't he got a kid back? No, because that wasn't his kid, did it? No, that it was never his kid. kid. Yeah. That was, what's her name's daughter? The other one. Omar. Yeah, the yeah. Omar, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll call him Omar. I don't know what I'm... Lamar, <laughs> what is, yeah. I can't call Lamar. it... I can't help calling him Omar, innit? It probably is that kind of Omar character, innit? <laughs> yeah, it's proper, it's proper hardcore. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so I think that's going to be his baby mother. I I believe so, and I, I feel for Nicole as well. Like I just feel like she's trying her hardest, she, she, but the mum is pushing this bloody contraception stuff on her. She doesn't want to have no. She doesn't want to have sex with nobody. She just no. wants to be a normal child. Do you know what? I, I, I know the mum is trying to look out for her daughter, isn't it? A, a mum is is to me is see. You know, sometimes you can push your kid away, but I think if her mum had an honest conversation with her, this wouldn't have happened. Because yeah. she doesn't understand why her mum's like... And she understands why her mum's doing it, but it, it, it seems like you're force-feeding it yeah. to me. But yeah. it's, yeah. you know what I mean? So even mum said to her, look, when I was when I was your age or your age, I, I had Meech. And that it kind of destroyed my life. Not destroyed my life. Obviously, I love you kids and whatever it is. But it stopped me from having... I feel maybe a more 
accomplished life or, or, or having that kind of form of education which allowed you to go in to be a doctor to maybe be a lawyer or whatever but now she just works in a in a calf really and truly do you get yeah, what she, I mean you should have had that conversation with her prior do you know what I mean she's yeah. she only having it now because it's like again just like she said in a few episodes back that Nicole was like like do you know you've got two drug dealer sons that her parents are doing nonsense and it's like Nicole's just a scapegoat now, isn't it? Yeah, hundred you know percent. I mean, like, she, in fact, she's the only one that's actually sensible at the whole family, and yet still she's getting all this smoke going on. Yeah. All right, sorry. That was BMF. There'll be more BMF next week. X Men ninety seven. I think it was episode four now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motendo. Yeah, bloody Jubilee doesn't want to grow up. Or life slash death, well, part one. Jubilee, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's never had a big major role in X-Men, has she? Like in any of the films. But um, not, in the, not, been a bit part. not in the X-Men films, the series, yes, but not, not the films. Bro, ah. we, we know why she hasn't had any big parts, bro. Because she, she's 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 just, she's a dead character, really and truly. <laughs> No, but that's what she, I was thinking. For a whole episode to kind of be based on her, yeah? I was like, why? Like, it's just a firework. I can't lie to you, man. I, I, this episode was a bit flat for me. Like, I was like, yeah, like, I, was like, I barely remember what happened. Fireworks. Like, don't get me wrong. Apparently she, can't, she, apparently, she is actually really a powerful... She's a powerful mutant, yeah? Because she yeah. can absorb yeah. all this stuff, yeah? So I'm not going to take any away from her, like, long term. No, no. But, what absorb? Uh, what, what, does she, what does she absorb? No, there's 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 a thing where she's actually really like a powerful. You see, like when they do when does that order the phoenix, like she gets something from that. I can't remember what exactly it is, but you know, she does have fireworks and all that stuff yeah, in her yeah. hand. She yeah. can absorb some of the powers and she becomes actually a really powerful mutant. Yeah, I've heard that as well, actually. She she's supposed to be like probably like she's supposed to be a sick mutant, but yeah. obviously now she's not a sick mutant, she's just a child doing mm. fireworks with her fingers. Yeah, I'm glad everyone said that, yeah, supposedly, because it's not true. <laughs> and it is definitely it is is definitely in one of the comics that is buried very very far away. <laughs> How do you know? No, no, really, because, no, man. no, no, no. Jubilee is an absolutely horrendous character that should never exist. She is, you know what? Her, all she is, she's that. Yeah, she's that. You know that Asian, the um, the Asian girl, the South Asian girl that plays Miss. Is it Miss Marvel or? Oh, is it Miss Marvel? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she is. Come on, she's that character. <laughs> no, but no, no, but that, she's as useless as that character. You know when you, you need you need someone useless in a show who's immature and like I don't want to grow up. That is her. That is her. She, f who, who, what? You know when you think. God, why would you give me fireworks to 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 throw out people? Why would you give me that superpower? Of all powers in the world, you give me fireworks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. No, nah, I hear you. I hear you. I, I was a little bit shocked. This whole episode was about her playing computer games. Oh, gosh. But there were certain things that obviously the show kind of made me smile. The fact it was called Motendo was like a little thing, like, like similar to Nintendo. I was like, okay, yeah. that's quite cool. Um, the other guy, he looked like he didn't want to play the computer game at all, bro. He just didn't want to play. Like, I don't know. He's a mutant, has got powers, but doesn't want to show no one his powers. He's getting on my nerves. Yeah, he's, like, he's he feels like they're going to come and get him. I hope, I hope he doesn't join the main team. Like, I hope he just goes away back to his family or whatever. Yeah, but he's like one of them, you know, like them kids that want to cross the border. They've got special powers. They like recruit him, but he doesn't want to do it. He does, he's been taught not to use his powers ever. Or he'll be taken away, and that's what he does. Yeah. And then obviously we had um, Forge telling Storm that um, he's going to teach her how to become back to becoming Storm, but then he makes a confession, and then Storm don't like him. And she, and I swear she slapped him as well. Yeah. yeah. That's, but that's salt. But to be to be honest, he's been making weapons to defuse mutants. Yeah. So yeah, of of course you of course he's gonna do that. And the thing is, if we fully got her hopes up by telling her, yeah, I've got something to make give you your powers, and she tries to 
tries her ability. Oh, I caught the storm and the thunder, and nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, man. No, he should have got punched up for that instantly. You tell me something, you're not doing it. So all you wanted to do is fall in love with me and, and it's give me one, basically. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it was, bro. There's literally, he doesn't want to take her back to the cabin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to take her back to the cabin. <laughs> hey, yo, Storm, yeah, yeah, what are you saying? <laughs> so I'm trying to say, I love you. Yeah, but that's part one because there's gonna be a part two. So next, I think part two comes in a couple weeks. I don't think part two's next week. I think they've Nothing. split it. So part two comes in like two weeks time or something like that. Because it didn't didn't. Well, st- there's none. There's none on. There's no, when does it come on Wednesdays? There's none. No, on no. So it still comes out, but yeah. I don't think next week one. Next week's one is going to be part two of this. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. So that like, yeah. part two might be episode six or something like that. Oh yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I'm just thinking. So, yeah, I know. Six. Yeah, I know one of the episodes. She's the one that met, not Craven. Who's the the the, uh, the one that's got like a? It's like a dinosaur who flies. I can't remember. I know you're talking about that I controls people the eyes. Yeah, I, um, I can't. Yeah, because yeah, I'm just thinking: is it is it going to be during this period? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm intrigued to see anyway. Yeah. yeah. Intrigued, definitely intrigued to see. But you know what? What I don't understand is they, they're just going over some seriously old ground in regards to um, regards to this X-Men stuff, right? And this this replicating what's happening. Well, not not entirely replicating, but there's obviously similarities to what the original X-Men that we used to watch. And mm-hmm. me, I'm thinking, why didn't they just remaster the old ones and re-release them? Like, I mean, not in the sense of all together, but in, in this, just like season one, all together, so it's all there. Instead of recreating, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just think, because the, the, the following ground that we've seen before, I, I know the... Um, the, the younger audience haven't seen the X Men of of past, but I'm just like, why are we kind of stepping over old ground on some of the items? I expect things to be, I don't know, progressed. Mm-hmm. That's all. Like even even if even if like these new episodes, they had flashbacks of the old animation. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, for example, um. Um, for like example, they can they can talk about like there were there's there was someone called Apocalypse who was the great one who we, we managed to kind of not not kill but um stop his abilities from progressing and they can show a flashback of of something that happened or mm-hmm. obviously they're all mutants they can say oh touch like you know like Gene Gray could say everyone stand in a circle and this is what happened and this is who he was. And they have a flashback, and we see the flashback of Thanos taking control of everything. I don't know, not Thanos. Um, Apocalypse. See, I, I, I align those two. We know. Now, no one cares now. Okay, thank you. So I'm just talking to myself and the audience. It's okay. It's cool. We're always talking to the audience, bro. No, but I'm just saying. Obviously, you guys are on the panel, so I expect some obviously <laughs> some feedback. I said, I, I, we agreed. I shook my head. I said, yeah. I don't know what happened. Um, it was going a bit funny. But we care. We care. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I remember but, that for next time. Oh, here we go. He's in his feelings now. All right, no, cool. I'm not, no, I'm not in my feelings, mate. Invincible. Season finale. Season two, episode eight. Invincible is finished for this season. So we had that big-headed man, Angstrom. <laughs> Yeah, leave Levi leave, um, leave leave and Trump, yeah. <laughs> doing the most this week, doing the absolute most. Yeah, what's his name? You could tell what's his name. Um, Sterling K. Brown enjoyed doing that role, man. The guy, was, most this week. the guy was screaming, bro. He was doing the absolute most, bro. Like, he was sending Mark hair there everywhere. 
He was like, I think, I think this whole episode they just tried to have fun. Yeah. Sending him all across the multiverse. It was just like, what's going on with his brother? Every time, but also I don't understand why he was doing that. He wanted to make like, him suffer. Yeah, I know, but th- does he not know that Mark is really invincible? Do you know what it is? I, I, you know, like we always talk about Mark, how he just gets beaten up every single episode. Like, but I, yeah, I, I think it's almost like the, the his, adv- his foes are, are thinking the same thing that we think. Like, he's just a weak heart, isn't it? But yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone realizes how strong this, how strong he is, what, what he's capable of. Now he's and still a vult- he's yeah. still a vulture, mate. Yeah, but I, I, I don't, I, I think even with, with, um, with Angstrom and all these abilities to go multiverse, it's like that's one thing you failed to research properly. And also, he the reason the, the <laughs> one he's, the reason why he's trying to get Mark though isn't actually what happened though, is it? Well, in this, not world, this version of Mark. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. That's why it confused me why you want to go for this version of Mark. Maybe because he he just thought, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll have a go at you because you're the weak one. Like, because because you see how the, you see how the other versions of Mark, he weren't having it, man. He had people lined up and he was just chopping their heads off like they were carrots. Yeah. <laughs> he's walking past it, just chopping their head off as he's walking past that. He was the other yeah. marks are moving mental. They were moving. Yeah, mental. like the, the, the other marks. It's like you know, you know, if you knew that that version of Mark and you just and you and you just saw him in your presence. You're, You'll cry, you'll drop on your knees and cry, innit? You just yeah, cry yeah. straight away, mm-hmm. right? Because you know it's like you know you're gonna die, but you don't know how you're gonna die and what pain you're gonna endure from him, innit? But yeah, so we saw Mark, we saw Invincible becoming invincible this week, and yeah. for me, that was fun. It was like I actually was happy with it. Mm-hmm. I was happy that Mark, like, I don't like the fact that Mark is crying about the fact that he was like. Oh my god, I'm invincible. I hated all that shit. Yeah, like yeah. stand on your own two feet, bro. Like you did it in it. Like, yeah. cause then he's getting like all he was getting. I thought he would be stronger. Like, don't yeah. don't mug it off, bro. Like you <laughs> destroyed him, and then you said you thought he'd be stronger. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. That's what, you, you probably legitimately me for that. That's that's probably his rationale when he's fighting people. It's like okay, this person's really strong, so I'll fight. I'll do as much as I can do. But he oh, didn't realize, like, he, he, he almost, he, it's like he almost forgot how strong he was as well. Yeah. Because he's never got that angry before. I don't even think he got that angry when um when his dad was killing all those people in the train. No, nah, but I, it was good. It was good for us to know that he could do it if need yeah. be. Yeah. Bro, that thing um that Armstrong done to, to Debbie's mum, that was horrible, man. Bro, oh. do you know... Jen walked in at that moment there and she was like, <laughs> she was shocked, dismayed. Yeah. I said to her, don't worry, babe, it's a cartoon, it's not mm-hmm. real. Like, she was like, what are you watching? Why are you watching this? <laughs> always, always the case of it. Like, always, she was like, why are you watching this? Like, why are you, like, I hope you don't let the little one watch this. I'm like, I don't want let anyone watch it. Hmm. Why did she, why did he break the mum's arm like that? I know, she it could have at least broke it on a joint or something. Like, why would you break it just in the middle of your forearm? He because broke he both didn't. tib and fibra. He just broke the arm, bruv. <laughs> and it was just the hole in the radius side. So broke. It wasn't even clean. It was just it was just there dangling. Yeah. We'll see. So we fix her up anyway. What? So what? So are you man satisfied with this season's episode? I mean, ep- yeah. not episode. Sorry, this season. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. I think. I think having that mid-season break, and obviously they got their reason. I think it's because of COVID and stuff, and whatever. But oh no, the writer strike. But um, I think I think it was yeah, it was worth it still. Like, um, yeah, I, I thought it was good, man. Um, Do you like the cameos? Did I like what? The cameos. Yeah, yeah, I like the cameos. The, the one thing I was saying, I was saying to someone oh, probably the other day, yeah. The Spider Man cameo. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, that was it. That was it. And um, Batman. And, and Batman as yeah. well. And he's like, are you, are you seriously, seriously going to call yourself like Batman? Um, Bat- oh, shit, man. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. And the Spider Man the Spider Man was the the actual voice actor that does the one in Spectacular Spider Man series as well. Oh. Yeah, so that's um, good. Can I ask a question? So, 
I, I was I'm a bit confused. How is it how are they able to have Spider-Man and Batman in it? Like where is the correlation? Where is the link? Or did this did this did it for fun? Yeah, I think it was a fun thing. Apparently, apparently, like the the studio or the comics, like they were just like, oh, like do you mind if we just do like a Spider Man cameo or something? They said, yeah, cool. Marvel said it's, it's cool, isn't it? Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Because no, I, I was thinking, is there something I'm not aware of? Like, is Invincible like? Are they, is he part of? No, Marvel? no, no, no. Yeah, do you get what I mean? No. Because, like, I know Rich was rubbing his hands going, what, he's going to be in the next one? Like, Invincible and Deadpool? Come on, let's go. Yeah, when I first saw that, I'm like, okay, <laughs> this looks like Spider-Man. Oh my gosh, she's shooting webs. There's Doc, Blakely Doc, okay, what's going on in it? Like, and, yeah. yeah. Get me that, that, was, that was heavy though, because obviously it's multiverse as well, isn't it? so it's like, yeah. Now to me, oh, all I was thinking about was Omni Man. To be honest, let's um, let's be honest, right? <laughs> if, if if Mark's not involved, or in, Invincible, sorry, is not involved, I don't care. If Omni Man's involved, everybody's got problems. <laughs> everybody's got problems. They they would have to they would have to try and draft DC Superman to come involved into Marvel to try and settle with Omni Man because Omni Man will move to everybody. I'm just saying, isn't it? Look, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't been happy about this season. I'm, I'm not. No, like versus season one. Season one was this out. Season one was ten out of ten. From I, I know I don't watch as much animation as um as yourself and Kel, um, Merv. Um, but I honestly thought. Obviously, I've seen. I, I do watch animation, and I'm thinking, oh my god, animation is crazy. But this one was just like, like. And good solid nine out of ten. It's just like it was. And to me, it was all about Omni Man, Invincible. Yeah, that's what it, you're just like you're just like Omni Man and his violence. Yeah, you can tell I've got issues in it. I've... <laughs> as long as you know, as long as you know, bro. We're no, obviously, I'm I'm a man about violence in it. Obviously, in in do TV know, shows. Do you know the but one I, thing that the one thing that bugged me. And I, and I think the more I rash, the more I think about it, I'm starting to rationalize it as well. But it still bugged me. Like the I wouldn't say fake deaths because it didn't like like obviously duplicate's not dead in it. But it makes so much oh. sense that all right, I'm a superhero that could literally clone myself and I keep dying all the time. So I'm just gonna be real talk and just basically sit this one out while my clones do the job in it. So mm. I think it's yeah. Yeah, I thought, oh, like you've got to wave it. That 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 that's actually, that actually makes so much sense as well. And and obviously you had the the shrinking one, like like yeah. we were talking about last week. Like so, even though we thought all of them were dead, actually, when you kind of think about it, it's like mm, actually, it makes sense that they're all still alive still. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, because you know, because I, I I don't like that. I like I like I like there to be stakes in 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 these stories. I want someone to actually die. So it's like you probably feel the. Emotional payoff in it, but yeah, all of, all of them being alive made sense, I suppose. Well, um, like, um, like Omni Man's not dead. No. no, we know he's not dead. Like, he's gonna come. Alan, Alan, Alan's coming to break him out, isn't it? No, but yeah. this is the thing. It's like, I just don't think. Like, I like Mark, Mister Invincible. I, I, I do like him, and obviously, we've seen what we've seen on the last episode. I think that got everyone. Everyone excited, and to me, that this is probably one of the best ep uh, out of this season. It's probably one of the best episodes. I think everything prior to that has been no, absolutely so. It should be, man. You want the last one to be the best episode, no, of course. But everything, everything prior to this hasn't been good at all. You had you, you can't you can't tell me like any episodes <laughs> in this I season thought, have been actually really good. That you like class your expectations are too high. No, that. Well, I'm sorry. I'm only basing it on what I've seen in season one. But if you, no, if you, 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 you based it on the nostalgia of what you remember of season one, you just want to see Omni Man just, just yeah, you, just destroy falls, isn't it? In the same light, when you want to watch, when you watch the boys, you want to see what's his name, Homelander. Um, yeah, that's all he wants to see. He wants to see Thanos. He wants to see Homelander. He wants to see the ultimate being just mashing up the place. That's no. what gets him excited. No, 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 no. Listen, look. I have high expectations when it comes to films, right? And characters. You can't, you cannot bring me a character on Thanos' level, then bring someone else who is then about 50 levels under Thanos. It just doesn't work. You can't do that. 
No, no, no. no, no. Invincible, Invincible's no. always been like that, though. Sorry? Invincible's always been like that. Last season, he was what less stronger than he is now. No, but, but it wasn't about just Invincible. Because it wasn't that. It, it, it was it's always been about him. No, no. The, it's titled Invincible, <laughs> right? That's all it is. If season one was just titled Invincible. That is because it. It's about him. <laughs> no, it's, it's just, just, it's just it's about him. him, bro. No, but like, Omni Man was there, like because he was a secondary okay. character. J- just for example, yeah, um, The Simpsons, right? When it first came out, it was all about Bart Simpson. Yeah, Simpsons right now. And and I think maybe four years afterwards or five years afterwards, it's all have been about Homer only, because because Homer is a stronger character, yeah. <laughs> Invincible is just like it, it, it just it's not Omni Man. Can't you guys see it? The expectations they set for Omni Man, for Omni Man in season one, it was it was sensational. Oh, it's, not, oh, look, it's not finished yet. Allow it. We're in season two. Yeah. And I, I get that. But, but what I'm saying is. I have already seen in season two, it cannot be carried without Omni Man. And the only reason why we we were we were very happy with this last episode is because Mark it has become it no, had become upset. Yeah, that was it. And every, every single episode prior to that has been poor. Even even the whole thing about the writer strike and they they, they showed six months of it and stopped. No, was it, no, sorry. They, they, they had a break for six months or, or five months or whatever it Are was. Are you not done yet, man? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, man. Right. You're, not, no, you're not taking a mic. <laughs> no, 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 you're not taking a mic. You're not taking a mic, man. No, no, hold on. Nah, man. You can't say nothing. You have nah, not nah, been nah. here. You're not taking a mic, bro. <laughs> man, lost his patience. Nah, nah. lost his patience. <laughs> He's not taking a piss, bro. He's not taking a piss. He's on holiday, you know. <laughs> he probably warned him not to come as well. Nah, man. You're taking an absolute <laughs> piss, bro. He probably warned him. Listen, I've got, I've got <laughs> valid points. Let me speak my... I've got valid points on what I'm saying. Uh, you, I uh, you, obviously, there's nothing for me to say, so I'm out. I'm out, you man. Take care, Bye, mate. Girl. Enjoy your weekend. See you next week. No, actually, no, we won't see you next week. Enjoy. Peace. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so look what you've done. Look what you were calling kind of done. <laughs> no, so I I'm sorry, I'm, i lost my train. That's of a fully no, that's a fully geek pod first and someone walked out. <laughs> <laughs> 232 episodes. <laughs> 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 No, but I swear. No, I, I remember now. So the, the whole thing of the, the writer's strike and everything else, I'm, I'm showing like four episodes um, first, another four episodes. Mate, you can't do that. Just don't no, show me. They're always going to do that. They're always going to do that. So if that's the case, it's it's been awful. It's been awful season. Mm-hmm. If, nice that, spot, if, that, if that's the case, and they've always go, right. were going to do that, it has been an awful season. You can't, you can't, you can't just base you this can. season on no. Can I finish? You can't just base this season on one fantastic episode of the last episode of that season. You can't. You can't call. So, what would you say out of ten this season is and versus um, season one? What would you give season one first of all? Um, if I remember right, I can't remember season one to finish. You know. Now, see, you're not serious. You're lying. This season Merv. one. I can't actually remember oh, season one. I'll give them both a nine out of ten. Both, both I'm going. As well. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. What, what, what do you mean? You, can't, you give them <laughs> nine, both nine out of ten. Right. I'm gonna be real. You, you don't like it. I like it. Are you gonna upset the for? The only I, thing. I, 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 Merv, 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 the thing is, right? I know it's Merv, sorry. I know it's Merv's opinion. However, we've had that's, Merv's that's, opinion. That's what, that's what we the had story is. Opinion. Can you let me speak, please? We've well, been speaking for half an hour about the one thing. <laughs> yeah, it's been seriously monologuing today. Yeah, right. That's not the seriously monologuing. monologuing bro. Look, you made Kel go and he said, let me speak. Serious monologuing today, bro. I just want to make the point, right? 
we've had Merv's opinions in the past and we know how some of that stuff ended. That's all. That's next. Let's move. <laughs> all right. No, on a level though, the only thing I, I was actually going to say about this whole, the whole series, which, yeah. which was like my only bugbear was I wanted the brother to be able to do something. Yeah. The brother yeah, was getting true, passed yeah. around. I, yeah. He's also Vulture, So like, I expected him to do something, whether it was, I don't know, float, like, I don't know, say no, I don't know, something. No. But this is the thing, right? You would have thought all that crying the baby would have done, he would have, the powers would have come. Yeah, I felt like he should you have had I mean? something right now. That's Superman's son, like, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, this should have been Thank at least you. one thing Thank to power. You. Like, something that came out of his eyes or something that just said, whoa. Yeah, and you guys, that. and you like guys, that. and this Merv gave both of them a nine out of ten. If I go and oh, Giza, we, we, oh, we need to get right. <laughs> no, okay. Sorry, let's right. move. Well, let's move. Let's let, let's keep it moving. All right. So that was Invincible. And obviously, it, we are quite into late into it. Um, there was a few films that came out this week um, or the past two weeks. Um, Merv, I tried my hardest to watch Wish. There were no kids in the house. I turned it off. But you watched it. It was on Disney. Yeah, did yeah, yeah. I thought. Please came... tell me you had a child with you when you watched it. Yeah, yeah I had two of them. I had two of them. Good, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Like, no, you know what? I because I, I wasn't hearing great things about it when it came out in in back in last year. Late last. Is this year. the one that came out in the cinema as well? Yeah, so it came okay. out because this, this was the film that marked the hundredth um, years of Disney, isn't it? So, okay. but I just thought. I think this animation style looked lovely. It looked amazing. But I just thought, I wasn't hearing too much about it to sort of go bring me to the cinema to watch Wish. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But um, I watched it. It wasn't that bad. It was all right. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't... Well, it wasn't great, though. No, it wasn't great. It was... Yeah. I, do you know what it is? I think there's been so many um, Disney animated films of late be before it that it's like, if you were going to make this as your hundredth, like, time it to come out of the same year. There's nothing special. Oh, no, you would have to make some... I, I wanted to see some sort of epic Mickey Mouse film, actually. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like we, we've, done the, we've done the Mickey Mouse film. Already, huh? We've Fantasy. done the princess thing before. Oh, yeah. That it was like a yeah, yeah, make one, yeah, like, like go, go back to your roots. Go back to Mickey. Make Mickey... I don't know. Do, do a... Do you remember that Mega Drive game? Um, Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, or even a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, do something with the rest of them. Goofy I mean, to be fair, on. most people most people would have probably loved the credits more in Wish than the actual film itself. Because all oh, the credits are all the all the past Disney characters, isn't it? Okay, um, I'll go back, I'll fast forward just to watch that bit to be fair. I'll fast forward to watch that bit. I like the songs, uh, I like the songs. Film wise. I went and watched um, Monkey Man. Hmm. Um, oh, I don't know if you've watched it. No. I will say, I will say to you, Rich. I think you will love the second half of the film because it's like John Wick on speed, fam. Yeah, the choreography is beautiful. Yeah, in the sense of the fight scenes, but I say the last half an hour. It's just violence. Just violence. Unadulterated violence. You know, like, I'm looking, I'm going, like, even if I'm trying to be like those off in the cinema, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. But yeah, those ones. yeah, but you know, like, after, oh, 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 like, it's just violence. Yeah, th yeah that's all I can yeah. say. That, that, that is my answer to Monkey Man. Like, it, <laughs> it talks about political films. There are lots of different things it talks about. Things that I didn't realize were happening in India and stuff, like with the corruption, all that kind of stuff. But the latter part, just violence. Well, if you so, like violence, go watch Monkey Man. Just a quick thing. It, so the, the term Monkey Man, does, like I think of Monkey Man, and I think of a, a Chinese kind of uh, conflict. The Monkey like, King. Yeah, no, do so, you know what I mean? So basically, it's like a tale, like a. a like a fable or a tell they talk about this this really powerful person who was like what they called was the monkey man yeah so like it was like he looked after certain parts of india and looked after the poor people all that kind of stuff yeah okay, and okay. then the guys also they do like 
elite, kind of like illegal street fighting or illegal kind of boxing or MMA or whatever. Yeah. Like where you go and put like money on little bets and that, like corruption and that. And then he's a person and he wears the monkey suit, like a monkey face. So no one you know, okay. doesn't know who is yeah. it. And that's why he's the monkey man, because like he fights and that he fights a lot. Okay, 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 okay. Oh yeah, like, I'm definitely gonna watch that. He's a man that, like, for example, if they say to you, oh, I bet this much money, you gotta go down on the third, he'll go down in the third. Do you get me them kind of things? Hmm. But get watch it. It's, it to be honest, I, it's violent, but it is good. It is good. I watched it twice. Well, no, the first time I couldn't go to cinema properly to watch it. So the second time I watched it. That like was like three, four people in cinema. Like mm-hmm. I knew there was no extra scene, so I just got up and left. But like the people that were there just kind of sat there for about like five, ten minutes. Like, you know, like just absorbing the violence. Yeah. I just left. But it was good though, it's good. All right, definitely to check that out. Yeah, monkey man. All right, guys. Uh, I, oh, oh. Yeah, hold on. I I watched Kung Fu Panda 4. Ah, did you? I haven't watched it yet. What's it saying? Yeah, yeah do you know what? I liked it, you know, it was about the evolution of Kung Fu Panda um, and the, the fact that he's got a hand over the mantle. Um, oh. Yeah, so it's really good. I, I'm not, obviously I'm not going to spoil it for you, but yeah, it's definitely, I, I enjoyed it. I I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I, you know, I like all those Kung Fu Panda films and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, yeah, so definitely watch it. It's definitely one to watch. You Cinema, yeah, yeah. Um, um, both of them, um, and both of them loved it. I think they love the popcorn, they, they love the popcorn more, but yeah, um, but yeah, they loved sweet. it. I might have to see maybe Friday or something. Yeah, have, have a watch, it's, it's, it's all right still. Yeah, I can't do that one. All right, um, I know there's been a lot on, so it's been a long episode. I will just say before I finish, Merv, American Story. Sick. The American story. American. Oh, you remember that guy? And he writes. He's he's a book writer. And it won American, fiction. American fiction. American fiction. Yeah, yeah. Sick in it. Sick film. Bad boy sick. film. Bad boy film. Bad boy yeah. film. Probably long. I'm gonna message you in the Greek about it. Like yeah. it's like it's sick. It's sick. I read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Big film. Yeah, I read it. But yeah, that's episode 232. Um, yeah. Um, shout out Kel. Came straight from Guana. Um, I don't know, bro. I think you might have done the whole of the internet in from Ghana, bro. But um, yeah, shout you out, people. Episode 232. Rate, comment, subscribe, <laughs> like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. We out. Peace. Peace. Peace.